This is Magisk Alpha and a replacement of official Magisk. This is different from official Magisk. It's Alpha version. It's not official supported project. But if you want to install this thing, you can. Or if you don't want to, you can simply ignore this thing. What are the differences between this one and the official version? And why I'm going to talk about in this? I'm going to talk about Magisk Alpha in this video. Stay tuned. Firstly, you can see the major difference is in the Magisk section. We have the Magisk Hide option present, but the Jidisk option is also present here. If you don't know, like in the latest Magisk versions, the Magisk Hide was removed from there. But in this case, you have both these options available. You can't use both at the same time. Although, if you want to enable Jidisk, you can't able to. You will not be able to use Magisk Hide. Or if you enable Magisk Hide, you will not be able to use Jidisk. So you can use one at a time. It depends upon you which thing you want to use. On your device. Secondly, is the restrict root capabilities, which is a very interesting feature. It will simply restrict new super user apps by default, and you can see it will break most apps at sector sector. Let me just tell you. Let me tell you all this thing by an example that how this thing actually works. And the thing is, it's not. It's kind of not available for everyone. It's just for few users. We'll talk about that later on. You can see in the super user section, we have this option. You have three kind of options present here: grant, restrict, and deny. Which means you can simply deny the permission. You can grant the permission, and you can restrict the permission. What do you mean by restrict permission? Let me tell you. Restricting means granting the root permission, but the app will not be able to do much more in your device. For example, again, let me show you by by installing Shizuku. App as you can see, I've enabled Shizuku right now. Let me uninstall the Shizuku app right now from my device, and let me show you that if I grant the root permission now, things will go. How the things will go? I've enabled the restrict root capabilities options. If I open this option and try click on start, as you can see, start for rooted devices, which means it already detected my device is rooted. So, for example, if I try to click on start, it will simply ask me the root permission and click on grant. This is the error what I'm getting. My device is rooted, but because Shizuku needs to do some things, some modifications on my device, and that thing, this app will not be able to do because I've restricted the root uh, capabilities for this app, or basically I've restricted the root capabilities. And for example, if I use any other app which does not require these kind of things like Swift Backup, that thing will work. For example, the Root Checker Basic that will definitely work because that simply needs to tell me that if I if my device is rooted or not, and some things like. that you can simply disable this option and if i enable that grant permission now and click on start then this thing should work let me just try to close it once and open once again shizuku here and try to click on start and now yes as you can see it is working so by restricting the root permission this thing will not work and this is available for this is actually useful in some cases not every case but this was the major difference in the normal magic question in this magic alpha version So if you want to install Magisk Alpha on a device how you can do that it's very easy it's almost same or basically literally same like a both Magisk I mean if you use Magisk 26.1 on your device it's actually same you can also see the logs here as you can see if the the that tick sign is in red button which means the Shizuku root permission was restricted and like that you can get to know a lot more about this this is it thanks for watching and goodbye